You get me. What's good, everybody? Today, I want to show you how to route your tracks in your mixer so you can record with effects on and not print them in FL Studio. So right now, I have my mic routed to this track number one right here. If you don't know how to do that, just choose your interface and choose which track you want the input to come in. Um, next thing you're going to do is go to an empty track and then throw some effects on. I'm going to throw a reverb. I'll throw a delay. And let's do an EQ. You can also do auto tune, any sort of effect. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want on there, just throw it on an empty channel other than your recording channel. And then choose the effects that you want. So just to be quick, we're going to do some like radio effect on the EQ right here. Let's do a big room. Let's do a big room. Decay. And the delay. Do a high pass delay, ping pong, spread it out, stereo, adjust the wet. All right, the next thing you're going to do is go to your recording track that you have your input set up to, highlight it, hover over the arrow on the effects track, and hit route to this track only. Hey, now you can hear all these effects. Next thing you're going to do is arm it to record. And then just hit record in your session. I'm going to go and route it back just so you can hear the effects. And then hit record. Yeah, get me. Yeah, get me. Cool. So now, as you can see, this track got recorded right here, but now let's check and see if it has any effects on it. It's routed to this track number two right now, but if we uh, send it to another mixer track or just the master right here, you can see that it's completely dry. You get me! <laughs> yeah, so it's completely dry, has no effects, so you can alter it after the fact, after you record it. Uh, you can use these effects for tracking purposes. Sometimes the artist in the studio likes to record with effects on auto-tune, reverb, delay, uh, EQ, all that good stuff, compression too. So you can use any sort of effects that you like. Uh, just route it like this so they don't get printed so you can adjust them afterwards. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you share this with a friend if you get me.